guys. Uh, let's talk about True Blood. Okay, we've had another mini sewed released. This week it's Jessica's mini sewed, and if you've watched my videos or read my recaps, you know that I'm no fan of Jessica. I despise and loathe Jessica. I everything about her annoys me. I've never found her to be entertaining or interesting at all. This is not the popular opinion in the fandom. Most people love Jessica. And I will briefly entail why I do not like Jessica. My problem with Jessica is, besides the fact that she's an annoying 17-year-old, which every 17-year-old is annoying, with notable exceptions in my life, but for the most part, and she is brought into the True Blood universe by the Magister, who makes Bill turn her into a vampire for killing Long Shadow. Well, she's a little good go, a good Christian, church-going girl. She's turned into a vampire. She wakes up the next night and is so excited that she's a vampire because she doesn't have any rules anymore. She gets to curse and kill people, and it's just so exciting. Bill can't deal with her. He asks Eric to take her. Two weeks pass. Eric brings her back and says he can't deal with her either. When she walks in, she's dressed for like real slutty. You kind of get the impression that Eric let her eat people, not drink true blood. And, um... <clears throat> Bill is left with her and has to take care of her. The problem I have is there's a scene where she starts crying blood and Sookie's like, oh, you didn't know you could do that? And she's like, oh, why didn't, why didn't nobody told me? And everyone blames Bill for being a bad vampire daddy when the truth is Eric had her for two weeks. Two weeks. And he didn't tell her that she's going to cry blood? Two weeks he had her. He taught her nothing. Did he just sit in the back room at Fantasia and didn't tell her a word? She comes back to Bill, and she's sweet and innocent again. She's wearing yellow sundresses and meeting Hoyt at uh, Merlot's, and it's, she's all just so sweet and innocent and oh, so darling, and it, it's bad characterization. She goes from being good girl to wild child to good girl, and Bill is blamed. I don't appreciate that. Uh, so I've never liked Jessica. That's the main reason. I don't like her characterization. But in any case, she's part of the show for now, so we'll have to deal with her. Mini sewed this week showed her in some kind of bar or casino or something. I'm not really sure. There were slot machines and like roulette tables, and they were kind of looking at her like, she's too young to be here. So she sits down, and this old man comes up to her and starts talking to her. And she, you kind of get the impression that he understands she's a vampire, but then somewhere along the line, it kind of goes all wrong, and he starts calling her a whore, and flashing Jesus pamphlets at her, and she gets mad, and it uh, kind of shows just how much of a kid she still is, because she makes him scream, I'm a pervert, and I have a boner for Jesus. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. But then at the end, she meets a guy, and he's like, hey, baby, and she's telling him how she's hungry, and whatever, in any case. Uh, it was short. It was sweet. Thank God. I can't stand her. So, the less I see of her, the better. It is not like it was last week where I was excited to watch the minisode because I enjoy Eric and Pam's um, interactions. And, of course, everyone likes Eric and Pam. But this week it was Jessica. It's come and gone. Thank God. And next week, hopefully, we'll get somebody else because I... I'm done with Jessica. That's all I really had to say about it. I'm not a huge Jessica fan. I don't care what happens to her. If she gets killed in the first episode, I'm fine with that. I have never liked her. She's a made-up character for the True Blood universe. I don't appreciate her function in the story. I don't think her and Hoyt are cute together. I just don't. Everything about her annoys me. I cannot stand her. So the, few, the sooner she's off the show, the better. And I don't care if people don't like that. I find her to be hideously annoying. Just everything about her. Everything. Just mostly because she is another reason why people hate Bill. Oh, he's a bad vampire dad, like I said. No. The bad vampire dad is Eric. Eric had her for the first two weeks of her vampire life, and he's just scot-free. It's not, not his fault that she doesn't know anything. He's the one that should have been telling her all that stuff. She got dropped in Bill's lap when Eric told her that he'd take her. So, Bill's done the best he can. He's been a little busy, wouldn't you say, having to be a vampire dad with all this other stuff going on? So anyway, that was the mini sale for this week. Hope you enjoyed it. I did not. And we'll see what we have next week. Thanks for watching.